The State Disaster Management Group has just met to discuss the cyclone threat and to bring us up to date, the Premier, Anna Bly, joins us now from Emergency Management Headquarters. Premier, what's the message to Queenslanders who are in the cyclone warning zone? Uh, yes, well, good evening. It does seem that we are to be tested again. The most recent modelling confirms uh, all of the previous modelling, and that is that we now have a high Category 4 cyclone on its way to our coast, likely to hit somewhere between Port Douglas and Innisfail. These are large population centres. Uh, we are putting in place every possible preparation. But from uh, the next 24 hours, our friends in North Queensland are facing a very anxious and very frightening time. Uh, they, are, uh, they, they are well prepared. We have extra personnel uh, who have gone into the area today. We're doing everything we can to keep you safe. And have you got any numbers on just how many people have been evacuated and where those people are being sent? The advice for those people who had to be evacuated out of low-lying areas subject to big storm surge flooding uh, was to move to areas where they could move in with a friend, a family member or a workmate. And literally thousands of people have done just that. Others have left town where they've been able to. Uh, and in some cases, some are being provided with emergency accommodation by their local council. So there's already been a massive dislocation in these areas, including the evacuation overnight tonight uh, with 11 plus of the uh, Cairns Base Hospital and the Cairns Private Hospital. This is a very significant event. It is a storm of violent and deadly force and we are taking it absolutely seriously. And looking further ahead, what's the modelling showing for areas further inland? Are you expecting any more flooding? Well, most cyclones tend to dissipate quickly when they cross the coast. This one is showing all signs of maintaining uh, its rage and dropping very heavy rainfalls right across the, uh, the northwestern area into Mount Isa, the Gulf, and we will be looking to model as soon as we know where it's hit, which river systems are likely to flood as a result, but we are likely to see some flooding further west as a result of this cyclone. Uh, we are, it's not just the coastal areas. Uh, areas up in the Atherton Tableland, for example, are likely to experience Category 3 cyclonic conditions. So the danger zone here is quite extensive. Uh, this is, as I've said, perhaps our biggest test yet. OK, thank you, Premier. Premier Anna Bly there, live at Emergency Management Headquarters.